going on guys lanaki here and as promised i would bring you guys my quality and my color correction that i use on my videos uh, so yeah <laughs> without further ado this is it so basically um in the description i have a link or i'll have my color correction that i use just post it down there you can copy the file or download it or whatever i'll figure it out and then you can uh add it into the presets or plugin files for after effects um so yeah once you have it down or whatever and you put it into your After Effects uh, support files or whatever, you can uh, drag it in, put it on an adjustment layer, and basically these are the uh, effects that I use, so your brightness and contrast, and all these are edible, you can change these however you want, I have looks, already set, uh, detail preserver, then your unsharp, and then your sharpen, and so these you can just kind of change depending on, on the like edit or the... Uh, like whatever clip you're using, whatever character, whatever, so you can just kind of change those. So that is the color correction that I use on my videos. And now I will jump into my settings that I use in Topaz. So once we are in Topaz, um, you can just drag your clip. And basically these are settings that I use. So you want to scroll down, you have all these options here. Um, some of these are like default too, but you want to scroll down until you find uh, Proteus Fine Tune. I have like V3, I don't really know what the difference is. But I use this one, and once you come down to these parameters, you want to set this to 100, this to 100, sharpen, I put at 23, reduce noise at 100, the halo, you put around 24-ish, and then the blur 100. Some of these are a little interchangeable, um, but try and keep like the values kind of similar, like don't put sharpen, don't put the sharpen any higher than that, don't move the halo any higher than that, because it's kind of mess with the quality. And then output, I do render in 4K, but you can like kind of choose what you want here. And then grain off, uh, crop to fill frame off, and then constant rate factor, I put 11. And then I export in MP4, uh, 0.264 format. And then as you can see, if you click on the preview for like, cause you can kind of see like the quality and stuff, you can notice that there's a big difference. Like, and this isn't even with, this is uh, without my color correction on. So I just dragged in the raw clip. And as you can see, like it just makes a big difference. Like it, it reduces noise and it makes the lines a lot more clear. And with color correction and all that, this is even better. But like you can already tell like the difference. So um, yeah, if you want the best quality on like TikTok and like social media, you're gonna have to use Topaz. And so um, yeah, it's about all I do for my color correction. Sometimes and my quality. Sometimes I will. Uh, like if the quality is really bad, so if an anime is really old, I will topaz it twice. So you can always do that too. If you feel like the first one isn't as good, you can always do it again. And so yeah, with that being said, that is my little tutorial. <laughs> I will talk to you guys later.